All right, well, 7.30, we'll get started here. I did a roll call. Looks like we got everybody, but uh, I don't know, is Grant here? It doesn't look like it. So we got five. Yeah, five. Do we have anybody for public comment, Laura? No public comment. Nobody, nobody for public comment. Chairman's remarks, just uh, two things. Um, I did talk to Zach Director DuPage Mayors um, a couple of weeks ago, and the Village of Lombard, who's not in home rule, was working on um, trying to figure out what they could do with regards to stopping the puppy mill store sales in their town. Um, they did send a support resolution to Springfield to look for a statewide ban, but they've also brought it up to their legislative committee at DuPage Mayors. Um, to add it to their legislative agenda uh, as we have had for our last couple of years for the county um, for Springfield. Um, so it looks like the DuPage mayors are going to do that. In addition to that, um, the chief of staff for the village of or the city of Aurora reached out to me the other day and was looking for information uh, because they're starting a discussion not only on uh, potentially um, stopping the sale of puppy mill dogs at the pet stores, um, but also the potential predatory lending. Uh, some of the horror stories that we've seen come through our facility of the exorbitant interest rates, you know, 60, 70, 100% uh, um, in our financing. Uh, so staff sent over our package that we've put together over the last couple of years that other municipalities have used. So they sent that over this week. Thank you, Laura. Um, that's all I had. So with that, I'll take a motion to approve our minutes from October 20th. So move to start. Second, Second, Noonan. Any comments, questions, additions, deletions? Seeing none, all in favor? Well, no, we got to do a roll call, Laura. I can see the screen. Uh, Member Pachalski? Aye. Bessart? Aye. Noonan? Aye. Brettledge? Aye. Ekhoff? Aye. <laughs> Krajewski? Aye. Okay, motion passes. Next, we'll move on to our uh, six, our procurement requisition. If I can get a recommendation or approval of our purchase order for the Pet Population Fund Program, Partner Spain, Illinois Pet Well Well Clinics. So moved to start. Second, Second. Noonan. Any questions or comments on this one? We'll do a roll call, Laura. Kowalski? Aye. Bessart? Aye. Noonan? Aye. Brettledge? Aye. Peckoff? Krajewski. Aye. That motion carries. And next we can go to our action item. If I get approval for our animal services non-requisition credit accounts for uh, greater than 1000 and less than 15000 So move, Noonan. Okay. okay. Any uh, questions on this? Comments? Okay. Roll call, please, Laura. Kowalski? Aye. Bessart? Aye. Noonan? Aye. Rutledge? Aye. Eckhoff? Aye. Krajewski? Aye. That motion carries. We'll move on to our grants. Uh, we got three of them, so I'll do a motion to combine and approve uh, all three grants and their acceptance of an extension with our DuPage Animal uh, Friends Foundation uh, coordinator. So moved. Second. Any uh, questions, comments? The last one was our unrestricted funds, but the three. All right, roll call, Laura. Kuchalski? Aye. Aye. Noonan? Aye. Rutledge? Aye. Ekhoff? Aye. Krajewski? Aye. Motion passes. Uh, move on to our administrative update, Laura. So um, effective yesterday and right now through December 6th, we've moved into more emergency operations similar to what we experienced in April, May. Uh, staffing vacancies, um, have left us a little thinly staffed. And just with the spike in cases, we wanna limit the people coming into the building. Some of the changes that we've made include moving our adoption interactions to Zoom with curbside pickup. In fact, we had our first day of doing this yesterday and we had three really successful interactions with adoptions uh, get closed out. Um, we're doing uh, emergency intake. Um, so really talking to people over the phone to find out, do they need to surrender now? or is it a situation where they can delay it a few weeks um, until things uh, get a little um, lighter on the COVID case side. And then uh, we've got some staff doing some remote work from home with the new software platform that we implemented last month. Uh, there's quite a bit of database maintenance that we need to do. 
So we've got plenty of things for people to keep working on. Um, we're still continuing to remind staff to wear masks. Um, everything is pretty much curbside or online, which has worked out really well. And um, our animal population still remains uh, lower than normal. We've got about 25 kittens still in the foster pipeline ready to come back, a um, handful of dogs and cats. So we continue to try to find uh, outcomes for animals while still taking some in on an emergency basis. Uh, we haven't really gotten any pushback since we started all of this in April from the public. We're still able to provide services. Uh, people actually were very um, excited to try to do the Zoom, so that was positive. Um, Dr. Hannick, did you want to share anything? Sure, I have a couple of things. Um, we collaborated with American Pets Alive, which is an, Austin, uh, an awesome shelter in Austin, Texas. And uh, we had a, a lady drop off about seven kittens and five of them tested feline leukemia positive, and they have a, a life-saving program. And, and usually feline leukemia, if they're positive, it's not uncommon for shelters to euthanize them. Um, these were healthy, beautiful kittens, and we didn't want to do that. Usually they have an abbreviated lifespan, um, maybe of sometimes three, five, seven years, maybe, or something like that. And um, so five of our kittens were transported to Austin, Texas, uh, a few weeks ago. So that was exciting for us and uh, they're very happy. So it's just a really nice relationship that we have. And um, the last thing I have would be um, just to share some stats. We closed out our season for the vehicle as far as doing surgeries primarily for trail fixers for um, uh, to decrease the overpopulation of cats that are brought to us. And um, just to give you a rough idea, when we started in 2018, we did 285 surgeries. Last year we did 430. And then even with our brief pause for COVID, um, we still ended up doing 456 surgeries on the vehicle. So, um, so that's, that's great. And we, we look to expand our services as far as community outreach. Um, we'd like to build that program. So that's, uh, that's what I have. Great. Thank you, Dr. Hannick. That's a great Hannick. program mentioned about community outreach. Um, our DuPage Animal Friends is about to send out their annual appeal letter. And knowing that there is a big population in DuPage County that could use help with um, medical expenses, they are fundraising for a medical fund so that if we identify potential owner surrender situations due to financial hardship for a medical reason, we can um, try to find some other options for them. Um, or this fund would also help uh, they want to help continue the community outreach aspect of low-income seniors with pets, people on link program. Uh, so DuPage Animal Friends is very much behind continuing that community out outreach aspect. Do we have a thought on that, Laura, with next next year when the vehicle gets back out, Dr. Hannock, that we can then go into some of these potential identified low-income areas and then provide the medical services using the uh, funds from DuPage Friends? Yeah, that's the idea. They'd help, they'd help fund all of that. Okay. Thank you. Anybody have any questions for Laura or Dr. Hannock? Okay. See, and now we got uh, old business. Okay, we have one item under new business, uh, Laura. So at our last meeting, we discussed a few things about our tag distribution process. Um, if we're going to implement these changes regarding the senior tag discount and how we're collecting funds from the veterinary partners, it does require an update to the DuPage County Code because uh, those things were expressly in the code. Uh, so we've made three changes that you guys are reviewing today and voting on. Uh, the first is just a general change to update our name. Uh, in the ordinance, it was still animal uh, care and control, so we've now updated that to DuPage County Animal Services. The second is to eliminate the senior tag discount. I have previously sent uh, a spreadsheet showing you how, about how many tags we're selling, and it's, it's a fair, very small portion of our 100,000 plus tags that we sell, um, but it has a pretty significant financial impact, especially knowing that we're going into next year with some indirect expenses that we're gonna be covering. Our goal though is to still make sure, like I said, earlier with community outreach that we're still offering some low cost or free vaccine clinics. We will continue to offer free rabies shots and uh, registration tags with our spay neuter program. Uh, but this ordinance would eliminate the senior tag fee 
and it updates the language so we can collect the base tag fee from veterinarians when they place their orders. Great, and this also cuts down on the staff time, not having the two different variant prices. Yeah, the, the variables in that senior discount, A, it was very challenging to even uh, obtain proof that somebody is a senior. Our veterinary partners, some of them weren't even honoring it because it was so challenging. And the staff time to try to um, account for those was um, just costing more than it was worth. Anybody have any questions on this or comments? This is based on what we discussed last meeting. So I'll get a motion then for the amendment to the ordinance. Don, you're muted. So moved. All right, so moved, you beat me to it, okay? I couldn't find my button. <laughs> All right, yeah, so Pachowski with a second on that. Thank you, Don. Uh, any questions, oh, comments? <laughs> See, oh, somebody's got a comment. I couldn't, well, who is that? Don? <laughs> Don? I think he agreed too, so, okay. Roll call, please. Pachowski. Aye. Desart. Aye. Noonan. Aye. Rutledge. Aye. Eckhoff. Aye. Krajewski. Aye. Motion carries. Any other new business? Anybody have any other new business? Uh, Eckhoff, Fran? For the next two year cycle for this committee, if you could move it to eight o'clock, I'd really appreciate it. I'll move JPS to 8.30. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think we were conducting at the same time as another meeting so that, uh, you know, we offered a date. I assume that they're gonna look at the schedules and the meetings, but. So any other new business? Okay, without objection, we are adjourned. Thank you. Thank you.